This is a guide on replacing the front assembly on the Apple iPhone 8. For the reinstallation process, we'll need the following tools. A heat gun, a plastic pick, tweezers, small tri-wing screwdriver, a small flat screwdriver, and a small Phillips screwdriver. The front assembly consists of the frame, the glass digitizer, and the LCD screen. You will need to replace the entire front assembly if any of these components are broken. Turn the phone off by holding the power button and confirming the shutdown on screen. Remove two pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone. Use a heat gun to warm the adhesive around the perimeter of the iPhone. Insert a plastic pick between the display assembly and the main body. Gently move the plastic pick around the perimeter, separating the display assembly from the main body. Once separation is achieved, open the phone to a right angle. Now we have access to the small metal shield which secures the battery connector and the two front assembly connectors. The shield is held in place with four Phillips screws. Most screws in the iPhone are different sizes, so you have to keep in mind the position of each screw. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws. Remove the metal shield. Use a plastic pick to disconnect the battery. This way we make sure that the phone will not be damaged by a short circuit. Using the same plastic pick, pop open the two front assembly connectors. The next step is to open the camera connector at the top of the iPhone. The connector is secured with another small metal shield. Remove three Phillips screws holding the shield in place. Remove the shield. Using a plastic pick, open the connector. Set the main body aside. Now we have to transfer some important components from the old front assembly onto the new one, namely the front camera and the speaker box, the big LCD shield, and the home button. Start with the home button. There are four tri-wing screws that hold a small metal shield in place. Remove the screws and put the shield aside. Using tweezers and a plastic pick, open the home button connector. Using tweezers or fingers, gently pry off the glued flex cable. Remove the home button. The next step is to remove the upper shield, which is covering the speaker box ribbon cable with the front camera and the proximity sensors. Remove the three Phillips screws and set the shield aside. Remove two screws holding the speaker box. Remove the speaker box. Using your fingers, gently separate the ribbon cable with the front camera and the proximity sensors from the frame. Set it aside. Now we can remove the big metal shield. There are three tri-wing screws on the right side and three more tri-wing screws on the left side. Remove the screws. Using a plastic pick, detach the metal shield from the frame. Set it aside. Set aside the old screen assembly. At this stage, we are ready to transfer these components onto the new front assembly. Take the new replacement part and place it on the desk. Press down the front assembly cables and cover them with a big metal shield. Replace six tri-wing screws, three on the left side and three more on the right side. Take the ribbon cable and carefully guide each component into its slot. Replace the speaker box. Secure it with two Phillips screws at the bottom. Guide the camera into its slot and cover it with a small metal shield. Secure the shield with three Phillips screws. The next step is to replace the home button. Insert the button with its cable into the hole from the front, making sure that the home button cable goes under the connector. Reconnect it to the front assembly. Cover the button and its connector with a small metal shield and secure it with four tri-wing screws. Now we can reconnect the front assembly to the main body. Position the front assembly at the right angle to the main body, aligning it at the right edge. Reconnect the camera cable. Replace the metal shield and secure it with three Phillips screws. Reconnect the other two connectors. Then reconnect the battery. Caution, it's very important not to force any of the connectors. All connectors are extremely fragile. 
replace the metal shield and secure it with four Phillips screws. Close the iPhone and press the power button. The new screen assembly is working and we can finish the reinstallation process. Turn the phone off. Snap the front assembly into the case by going around the perimeter and pressing on its edges. Replace two pentalope screws at the bottom. Turn the iPhone on and we're done.